In this tour, we'll review a pre-configured deployment process. The management page is where deployment processes are designed and executed. Here we have a list of components that have been configured. Components typically map to a functional part of a real-world application and represent deployable items or artifacts such as files, images, and databases. Let's view the sample database script component. Under versions, we can see the versions of this component that have been imported so far and the artifacts associated with them. This component has only one component process, deploy database, although components may have many processes. A component process is a series of plugin steps that operate on a component's artifacts and specify how the artifacts should be deployed. Here are the steps that have been configured for the deploy database component process using the process editor. The process editor enables you to drag process steps from a menu of plugin steps, configure them, and visually define the relationships with one another. In this example, we'll delete any existing files in the deployment target location, download the files from the SDA repository to the target location, and execute the SQL scripts. Next, let's view the sample DB application. Applications bring together components with their deployment targets and orchestrate multi-component deployments. The sample DB application has only one component associated with it, sample database component script. So only this one component will be deployed with this sample application. Let's look at the application's upgrade database process. This process uses the step install component, which initiates the processes defined for the sample database component. Now let's look at the environments associated with this application. An environment is a user-defined collection of resources that host an application. Environments are typically modeled on some stage of the software development lifecycle, such as development, QA, or production. Let's take a look at the first environment in our pipeline, the development environment. Within the application environment, you map the resources to the component to make them available to the component processes. This resource is associated with an agent that is installed in our target environment. When we are finished with the configuration of the deployment process, we're ready to deploy. Here, we take the default to deploy only change component versions and select latest version for the version to deploy. We see that the application process step is running. Let's look at the details. Here we see the steps the component process is running. The inventory confirms that the component version has been deployed as requested.